when I was 51, I had a um, blood clot to the brain, which created a stroke. I was at home, and I woke up uh, being violently sick. I had dry heaves and unmentionables. And uh, at first I thought I was having a real bad case of the flu. But after 45 minutes, my uh, my my kids, uh, of course, knew that I was sick, and uh, they called 911. They told me that basically that uh, what I what I had was the effect that I would be this way, and uh, I had four and a half years of physical training and. I have folded this thick that I still have. Uh, my challenges are uh, the fluctuation of achievement. Uh, sometimes the days, some days I wake up and I have trouble getting dressed. And other days I get dressed and think nothing of it. So. I'd say the fluctuation every day of not knowing what I call it the person that's going to be the vehicle. How is this vehicle going to go today? I've overcome the fear of advancement. Um, I no longer hesitate about being able to feed myself, for instance. My brain, part of my brain is gone. It's gone forever. And I had to get accustomed to the fact that I have no memory. I have no memory of who I was. People told me how I was. And I've learned to have new memory. So I, I don't have frustration of who I was because that is forever gone. And I came to terms with that. My kids would say, remember this? Remember this? No, I don't. I know that um, they've been through a lot. They did, I've, I've been the main person in their lives. And to see me so devastated, they were very upset. The Brain Injury Association lifts you up and gives you hope and makes it when, you, when you're with a group of people who have the common injury we can share our, our ideas. A stroke is not the end of life. A stroke is a change and a brain injury is a change where you have to take your whole being and readjust to challenge. It's a challenge and as soon as you realize it's a challenge, you can get to work to rebuild.